Hi, it's Lynn with Soft Squares. Today is Saturday, which means it's time for the situation. Let's talk about stuff. The Saturday situation is every Saturday at 3 p.m. Mountain Time, unless I'm having some issues, but look for that. It's where I talk about what's going on with me and my channel, the things I'm in the middle of, working on upcoming things. If I do fabric haul, uh, there are some small subscriptions that go in there, and I might recap some of my videos. And if you're lucky, give you a preview of what Monday Makers video will be about, where Monday's at 3 p.m. I do a project or a tutorial. So let's get into it. <laughs> My channel's growing and when I hit 5,000 viewers, I am gonna be doing a drawing and uh, the rules will be posted when that is available. So watch for when I hit that 5,000 milestone. I think we're a month or so away, but you never know. Help me grow and it might come a little sooner. So thanks for being here and for sharing and commenting. This last week I did an interview with Stephen, the Idiot Quilter. So if you don't know who he is, check him out. I will put a link to the video in this description, but he does interviews of his subscribers and most of them have a channel, but that's what we did is we talked about me. We did a tour of my room, talked about my machines, my goals, how I got into it. It's about 56, 58 minutes long. Go check it out. That was a lot of fun. I have been busy this week, like super busy. You can tell by what's going on behind me and getting this ready to go put together. It has been a struggle. <laughs> the struggle was real. I, I've never satisfied until it's sewn together. So I'm constantly rearranging. So anyway, that's where I think it's gonna go. But I wanna show you some things I got in the mail this week. Uh, Keepsake Quilts had a Let's see, I don't know if you can see this. It's 108 inch three yard backing. They have a club and you get points to use towards future purchases. And I basically had a big credit I used towards most of this. So that's why I picked that up. And I like the colors because it's something different than anything I have, although I can totally see using that. And hopefully the glare is not too bad, but it's different shades of green and teal and aqua. I also ordered, um, I did this through Amazon, I haven't found it anywhere else, but it's a, the Fat Quarter quilt. Um, this is from Quilt Cafe. I just made a quilt last week with Fat Quarters and, from them, but it had their daughter on it, and this is another one that they have. So this has some more Fat Quarter friendly um, patterns, and I wanted to oops, see my options and get another one. So I got this new book and I decided I needed some alphabeties, but I needed the expansion pack. So these are the ones that are double letters because, because <laughs> I'm finding that I'm needing things like that. All right. So I actually got that from the Fat Quarter Shop. And in addition to that, I picked up a bunch of books and cattle, uh, patterns. This is a quilted living casual style for a comfortable home. 10 fresh new quilt designs by Jerry Robinson of Planted Seed Designs. It comes in this pretty little package. I want to look at it though. Now that's cool. I'm always looking for different, different things. I like, these are different, different, very different. Okay. <laughs> it looked good, but now it's like, I'm really excited to start this one. Okay, so there's that one. I picked up this one. It is, um, it's a block of the month called Among the Stars again. It's through It's So Emma. It is a Fat Quarter Shop um, book. And looks like quilt top. Yeah, the whole thing is making this quilt throughout the the year or you know over a period of time and it's giving it to you a block of of the month that actually makes it a little more doable doesn't it they are slightly different not by much and i like that once you see it up close so 
there is that. Let's get that right. And here it is in a different colorway. This one's called Dar Garden Sampler Block of the Month. Same thing, same company. And this one has 12 months. I think this one had 10. Sherry Falls of this and that pattern company designed that for it. So Emma and cool. I also picked up some fabric that was on sale. It's a fat quarter. Not fat quarter. I like to say fat quarter, don't I? It's a charm square. It's called Forest Glen Complete Collection, and it's different shades of greens and they're boutique. So I will. See if I can find a swatch and put that up here for you. Forest Glen. Okay, oh, here's another book. This one is by Lori Holt of BMI Bonnet, Quilter's Cottage. Look at that, it's got cobblestones. All right, so this one, what all is in here? It's just one at, one block at a time, so you can treat it like a block of the month, but I, I'm kind of looking for these types of patterns, evidently. These are triangles on a roll. I do have the sheets to use, but I like having the idea of some patterns specifically written for them. They come in tubes like this. And I'll show you one. I have some here, but these are just half square triangles. Everything in here, and see they come on a roll and they're like a sheet like that. Let me get to one. All right, here's one that I've already opened. Cut fabrics at eight and a half inches. You know, I don't have the the thing that goes around it. Oh, three inch finished half square triangles. Oh my, it should tell me. But you put your papers on and then you sew with the paper on top under the fabrics. That's what I meant to say. And you follow the arrows and then you cut where it tells you and you make half square triangles really easy. So getting some patterns specifically with lots of half square triangles, I wanted to play more with these. And I have a bunch of different sizes of these too. Okay, uh, does it give us a quick glance at the different patterns? It does not. Not in one place, anyway. <gasps> Look how cute! It's a flower! <laughs> Alright. Let's keep going. Again, it's called Triangles on a Roll. The next book is called Simply Half Yards. It's for using half yards of fabric, not fat quarters, half yards. And I like that, because not as many colors and prints going through your your fabric, but yet um, there's a little bit of variety. So I wanted some patterns. That makes me think of the Girl Scout logo. Am I alone in that? Did you guys see that? For some reason, it makes me think of them. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, so origami quilt, college quilt. I like these. Obviously, I bought it because I liked it. So, there's that one. And Lori Holt, I'm not a big Calico fan, but um, I do like her patterns. So, this is called Vintage Christmas. I'm kind of in a kick for Christmas quilts. This whole thing is a book of making each of these blocks. Now, I think on here, she's probably got repeats or maybe not. Actually, I don't see any repeats at, at a glance, but this whole book is making block by block. And so you can make the whole quilt out of it. Like here is the, the car with the tree on it. Um, you can do so many things. You don't have to combine it, but <laughs> nutcrackers. So, I don't know if you can see, get an idea of all those options on there. This is also put out by It's So Emma. The gingerbread man is cute. All right, 
So, speaking of Christmas, I've been very busy this week. I have not been sewing as much as I would have liked because because I have been working on this. Now I have two quilts that are Christmas quilts and I'm getting myself ready to work on these throughout the year. This one, I just went through and cut out all the pieces. All I have to do is sit down and follow the instructions and sew things together. So uh, this took me a lot longer and this is becoming more of a scrappy quilt. So I pulled out my scraps and this will be fun to see how this turns out. I didn't stick with a specific anything <laughs> other than, you know, the trees were green and this, this gingerbread, I made them brown, but uh, I just mix it up with Christmas fabric though, but this will be fun. So each um, block has its own page and I have gone through and done what I did with the other one where I put all my little cut pieces. I have what block it is, what it is and how many to make. And I have it all here in this awesome little bag that I got from Creative Notions. It's the right size for this. I've even gone through and cut my outer border because I had a lot of this fabric and it was directional and I happen to have exactly what I needed to make the outer border. So I went ahead and cut it so I wouldn't forget it. <laughs> I still have to do an inner border and the middle border, but I have everything on my blocks and my outer border. So that would be this right here. So I still, there's actually a white inner border and then the red and then all the white background pieces. I have not cut out my background pieces yet. So that is coming. And then this quilt pattern has a bonus quilt. And I may or may not get to it. It's just really cute. But let's see, finishing the block. Let me see if I can find the general instructions. There's a lot of cutting out to do <laughs> of white fabric. I have the fabric set aside and I'm ready to go, but I needed a break from it. So finishing pieces are the last thing I need to worry about. And I have the fabric set to the side, so it will still be there. Okay, that was my big accomplishment this week. And then I can sit and start sewing. I also tried to make my life easier on my blocks. So you see these, I'm getting farther on them. I'm five weeks in. I have five blocks made. So this is kind of a yellow-ish, I'm gonna call it yellow, yellow brown. And the purple, red, green, and orange. So what I've done to make my life easier, and I'm talking about something I can't put my hands on. Oh, I've gotten a head start on my blocks. So they'll come together faster and there's that. Now I do have my Silver Jubilee Block 10 that just came. I will be putting it together and doing a separate video on that soon. Let's see what block it is. Oh, that's a different looking block. That one. It is called Crosses and losses. <laughs> These are 16 by 16 blocks. I don't know if you can see down here. I've been stacking them up there. And I am no longer getting the uh, Fat Quarter Shop boxes, but I can get the patterns for their, their block of the month. And so I'm, I'm still working on that. I have block 10 that I'm in the middle of working on. Um, and then that's as far as I've gotten. So 10 is what had come out uh, the last box, which I think might have actually been January. Uh, February still has another week or so. So we might see, I'm not sure, I'm just losing it. I can't remember, but 10 is the most recent block they've released and I'm working on it. So I'm gonna continue that. And because I'm using different fabrics and what they are and what they recommend, I have no idea if the finishing kit is gonna work for me. I, all I want is the pattern, and I don't know if that's something I can get. So if it's not, then I will ad lib and finish it my own way with the different fabrics from the collection that I'm using. So stick around, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, that's a separate video too, when that comes out. 
and I have not started sewing on my other blocks of the month. Uh, the ones from Reps Fab Stash, but they're all ready to go. It's kind of in the mold I'm in is getting things so I can just sit and work. This last week I opened up the Creative Notions most recent subscription box. She's trying to get caught up guys, so stick with her, but her boxes are awesome. They usually come as a bag. And this month it was a box because she's included the binder. She sent you a big three ring binder and the pages and the, the dividers and pockets and all that stuff to go to keep you organized throughout the next year. So that came out and it that came in a box. So look for that unboxing video, but it's for November, 2022. And yes, that is the current box. But the fabric that was in it was this really pretty, um, Valentine fabric and it came with a panel and this is the pattern I'm going to be making this soon and one thing that's really unique to creative notions is all of her patterns are written for her and she gives you a template or a um, ruler that is branded with her stuff and this month she sent out the orange peel um, template so you've got the two pieces instructions how to use it and then it's actually incorporated in the quilt that they've got on their patterns and then there's some pillows and if you have not looked into her stuff it's definitely worth doing and if there's a past month that you liked get a hold of her there's a good chance she can make that box and she'll send it out to you so um, look into that and that's creative notions quilt shop Dot com and email is info at creative notions quilt shop dot com. So anyway, I'm just letting you know that I'm excited and scared of this template, <laughs> but I'm going to be making that because these are so pretty and I figure this looks like a good size um, of a project. It's not too big. It's 54 inch, 54 and a half inch square. Not too big to be committed to a new Thing. Looks like there's one, two, three, four, eight block pat blocks that have the orange peel in it. So they look like a flower. Anyway, I'm excited. Watch for that. I'm getting my quilts ready to go off to the quilter. I have three that are done. Um, so excited. I don't know when I'll, they'll be coming back or when I'm actually going to get them to her but I've got them ready to be dropped off. So I'm excited. We're getting to the point where I will be finishing quilts and able to show you. I have not decided what we're gonna do on Monday. I've started two quilts. One of them is finishing this quilt. It very well might be this one where I talk about what I'm doing with it. I also have another one in mind that I've started. So you'll just have to come on Monday and see which one I end up doing. And then whichever one I don't will probably be the following week. So there will be things on Monday. So Makers Monday is at th uh, three o'clock mountain time every Monday and we'll do a project. I want to show you a project that has kept me busy this week. So I've been trying to get my Christmas quilt all um, cut up, right? And I have this basket that has my scraps of Christmas fabric, not yardage, because I had that someplace else in fat quarters, but scraps. And so I dumped this out and I organized everything and I put them in bags. So it'd be a little easier to find everything of that same fabric. And in some of the cases, there is a little bit of yardage, but not quite a fat quarter, but this made life so much easier. But I have taken a little detour in my <laughs> in my project to come up with a new project and to get myself organized. So I think this is going to make life a lot easier. If I need a red, I can easily see red and all the pieces that go with it. And it was super helpful when I was cutting out this particular quilt because the blocks are bigger than I was thinking. So I'm thinking, oh, I can easily use this. But then when I look at it and I have to really with some of the pieces I chose to use, I had to be very, very creative in how I cut them out to make sure that I could get the sizes that were needed. And part of it's because I'm working with scraps, not yardage, but I, I want to use my scraps and this is going to be a scrappy quilt. So that Christmas quilt is going to be super cute. I'm wearing a new shirt out of my shop. This actually has embroidery on it. A few weeks ago, I put out a pattern and you just go to softsquares.com and go to patterns and there's some free patterns. And I had accidentally attached the file for the, 
<laughs> graphic designer for this for this this graphic instead of the pattern so I apologize to any of you who picked that up it has been fixed go back in and pick that up and I believe it was my uh, hopscotch quilt that I had put the wrong thing in there but anyway this I'm getting all my t-shirts in the same size and part of it is I want to see how the shirts are running because I got to pick what style of shirt we're going with the different um, prints and this one happens to be embroidered and this one is gigantic it is halfway down my thigh it could be a night dress <laughs> like gown and I feel like I'm being strangled by it though it's definitely I think a men's shirt but it's fun and there's a couple different tie-dye versions so it might not look like I have this but if you like tie-dye <laughs> there is a tie-dye out there and it runs big just know it runs really big so I'm still looking for new ideas for more graphics to put on t-shirts so if you have any ideas send them to me update on me there hasn't been anything really exciting going on other than I'm not going to do shoulder surgery until fall if at all so right now I've got too many things coming up I have some quilt retreats some a wedding um, family reunion two of those uh, I can't remember off the top of my head there's just stuff it seems like every month there's gonna be one or two things going on and I didn't want to deal with that my husband and I are going on a cruise in May I we're getting too close to the start of all the fun I don't want to be dealing with that plus I'm really wanting to sew <laughs> so anyway it's on hold and I'm not feeling like this might be something I can live with so I have a torn muscle torn tendon on the back and then right here is a torn bicep tendon and part of the problem is this is in the wrong place and so it's rolling back and forth and this is actually where it is uncomfortable but there's pain back here from the tear that's actually not as bad as it used to be other than it could continue to tear so this is the internal struggle in my head I don't want to have surgery and I keep thinking the fact that it's been canceled and then uh, they were sending me into the operating room and sent me back out thinking it's the universe telling me don't do it so guess what I'm not gonna do it right now so we're good see this this is everything I need to make a quilt let me get it out of here I had shown this to you guys I don't know a few weeks back it's a quilt called summer sampler quilt it's really good for Fourth of July, Patriotic, Red, White, and Blue. It's by Riley Blake, and it has everything you need for this. And then at the same time when I bought that, which was on sale through Fat, uh, fat Quarter Shop, um, I picked up the yardage that I needed in a color, or in one of the fabrics that's from the line. It's not the one that they recommended. It's little mallets for croquet and the ball. <laughs> Anyway, um, I don't remember how many yards I got with the pattern called for, so I've got this to use with it. And my next pattern to start cutting out, and I'll probably start sewing this one first, because it would make sense, is this one. So we'll see how far I get. And let me just refresh my memory what's in here. All kinds of things. Lots and lots of fabrics, tons of fabrics. <laughs> and they're different um, thicknesses like some of these are just anyway they're all different depending on what the pattern calls for we have more bulk here and then in the bottom is the background so this came with everything including the pattern and this is it and here it is on a non glary sheet and looks like you're making columns so let's see if it tells me on here how much background I need because now I'm curious two yards wide back fabric and uh, it gave me a thing on the online probably four yards so anyway I've got enough according to what they said I would need and I actually have a bunch of this fabric from um, different boxes that had come so I might
might change it up a little bit because you know me, I can't sleep well enough alone and I don't want to be like everybody else. <laughs> but I do like the convenience of the kit. So I'm going to take my other fabric from this line and keep it close. See how I feel about using all these fabrics. And again, that's my next project to start cutting out. The nice thing is I don't have to go sorting through anything because what I need is right here. Be a lot easier than the last Christmas one I did. Okay, I had to go get I had to go get my fabrics. Cause now I'm confused. I try to keep my bundles together. And for some reason I'm thinking this fabric might be part of this collection, but I don't see anything. So I must be thinking of something else that I saw online with the kit. Okay, these I know are in there because the watermelon is jumping out. Oh, there's the croquet, but in the light blue. And here's the watermelons, which I can see down here. So I know this and this, and I can see all kinds of patterns that are the same, are part of this. maybe not there's some extra things in here that are not in my kit but it could be that there's just so many pieces to the line that not everything is represented in this kit I'm gonna go through and look although it might not matter right if it's all the same um, colors the right shades so this is what they sent this is what I have this mess I also have I'm a little more coordinated usually this fabric that's red white and blue don't think I'll use this it seems different enough this well, I can see that it's not that line for sure but I also have this and I don't see anything in here oh I lied no I don't see anything in here that was over here and they're a little bit different shade of red doesn't mean you can't use it <laughs> anyway I'm looking forward to actually cutting up some of this fabric since obviously I've got some extras going on here is that sitting there the whole time how embarrassing <laughs> okay in my Christmas advent boxes I believe this came from Oh, you know what? I don't remember. Off the top of my head, I just don't remember. Anyway, this was part of a coaster set. It came with this cute wood box, the fabric that you need, and then a download code to get these little patterns. And they're like three by three um, little patterns, or two and a half, whatever big this is, to make little coasters. But look how cute they are. So even though I may or may not make the coasters, I'm gonna go download that because I didn't realize I didn't have it because I, I opened it up and put it to the side and assumed everything was there and it is, I just have to go get it. But it looks really cute and it's not um, seasonal. So it can be used any time of the year. And I might even just make all four of those and make them one block and add them to my funky, funky piece block that uh, quilt that I'm making. I don't know. I'm gonna get that though. Oh my goodness. So much fabric. So little time. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you for being here. Have a good day.